Jen BJ here at the Chief Peak, and today we're going to be doing a 15 minute beginner workout. So, for this workout, we're going to be going through 15 exercises in total in groups of three for just one set each. Our working time is 30 seconds, our break time is 15 seconds, and after every third exercise, we'll then take a 30 second extended break. If you like this workout, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and let's get to work. All right, we got about 20 seconds until we get started with our warm up. If you have a fitness tracking watch, be sure to start your workout now. Our first exercise we're going to go into is going to be body weight squats. So, what we're going to do feet about shoulder width apart. We're going to drop down, come up. Make sure to keep that back straight, chest out, head up. Here we go. So, dropping down, coming up. If you want to have those hands out as you come down, that's fine. As you drop down, try to keep your weight in your heels, not on your toes. There we go. It's just a warm up. So if you have to start with partial reps, that's totally fine. We're going into good morning here. So good mornings. We're going to bend at the lower back, come down and then back up. There we go. Probably get two of these here. Stretching out that lower back. There we go. Feel it. Oh yeah, there we go. Coming up, all right, we're going to alternate hip flexor stretch. So nice split stance, drop down, sink the hips to that heel, come up, switch sides. There we go, switch sides. Hi. Hello. <laughs> One last switch here. Next, we're going into chest openers. So chest openers, slight bend in the elbows, pulling the chest open as we come across, stretching the back out. Go. Oh. Don't forget to breathe. Again, this is go at your own pace here. We got arm swings coming up. So we're swinging forwards and backwards, warming up the shoulders. You're not trying to do anything crazy with these on pulling super hard either way. We got pull, rotate, press coming up next. So we're going to start with our hands right in front of our hips and so right here we're going to pull get those elbows high external rotation press up come down keep the elbows high internal rotation push back down there we go so down internal up external there we go 20 second break after this here we go 20 seconds we're going in to deadlifts so for deadlifts what we're going to do here is we're going to have our dumbbells out in front of us. Feet about shoulder width apart. As we drop down, our forearms are going to stay on top of the knees here. We're going to come up. So our butt's going to stay a little bit higher. We're going to hinge at the hips. Here we go. So dropping down, coming up, dropping down, coming up. So we pretty much want the dumbbells to stay at the front of the legs the entire time. That's going to create us to bend more at the hips not at the lower back. So it's gonna work the hamstrings a little more. So you shouldn't be doing this right now. Back should always be straight for any type of squatting movement. There we go. We're going into rows left side. So we're just gonna single dumbbell here. We're gonna get a nice split stance going on. Right leg's gonna be out in front of us. If you want, take your hand, brace it or the elbow. Palm faces towards the body, coming up and down, up and down. Just kind of pulling uh, up whichever way it feels natural for you. So your hand should probably come somewhere around the belly button, maybe a little bit above it, totally fine. Come up, squeeze, squeeze, there we go. Here we go. All right, switching sides. Rose right side. Again, same thing here. Hand or elbow to help brace that lower back. Here we go. Sorry about the noise. Campground we're at has a lot of action. There we go. Hi. Push it out. Come on. He waved at us. He's like, oh, I'm sorry. Hi. <laughs> there we go. 
Yeah, you have controlled movements. Oof. Oof. One more. Ah, there we go. 30 second break. And then we're going into RDLs. Get some water. Wipe the sweat, because I already got the sweat going. You know me. I know. And if you don't know me, then you'll learn soon that I sweat a lot. Hi. It is what it is. It's also the humidity. <laughs> the humidity doesn't help either. All right, we got RDL, so slight bend in the knees on these, and then we're gonna bend at the hips, hinge at the hips here. So, I'm in here, and uh, make sure to keep that chest out, head up like this, <laughs> not like this. <laughs> yeah, fans in there. There we go. You know, Xander in the background cheering us on here. <laughs> <laughs> Keep that chest out, head up. So if you drop your head like this, it's going to want to bend at the back. We don't want that. Let's get one more. Oh, yeah. Here we go. All right, so we got push-ups or chest press. Jen's going to be over here showing you how to do push the push-ups. I'm going to do chest press. So the chest press, we're going to be on our back right here. Elbows about 45 degrees away from the body. Pushing up, coming down. Here we go. Oh. 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 Don't forget to breathe. If you need, if you need to stop and take a break down here, you can do that, and then lift yourself up. Just don't stop. Oh. Or you can do these push-ups up against the wall. <laughs> Makes it a little bit easier if you're beginning. Here we go. Oh, we got pie crunches. So we're gonna be on our backs here. Ditch the weight. You go on this way. I'll go this way. Okay. So we're gonna have those feet up in the air right here. Hands up, come up, try to touch the toe. Here we go. Come up, down, up, down. If that's too tough, bend the knees at a 90 and then come up. Every rep, exhale when you come up, try to get those shoulder blades off the ground. If this is still too tough, that's fine. Drop the feet completely right here. Notice how I'm not like doing some little partial movement like that. I'm coming up really trying to get my shoulder blades off the ground. That's what you should be shooting for as well. There we go. 30 second break. We got hex squats coming up. Oh. So hex squats are similar to the RDLs. Siri keeps thinking I'm talking to her. But with these... Our hands are just going to be by our sides here, so a little less hinge at the hips, feet still about shoulder width apart, chest is out, head will remain up. Here we go, so dropping down, coming up, down, coming up. Make sure that whenever you're doing any squatting movement that your knees aren't buckling in. We always want our knees to stay pushed out. What you'll find is that you start pushing up, your knees will start crumbling in like that. We do not want that. One more, exhale on the way up. There we go. Oh, we got shrugs coming up. So we're just gonna bring our feet in here. For a sec. <laughs> From here, shoulders come up to the ears. Back down, we're not pulling our head down on these. Here we go. So, come up, squeeze, back down. Up, squeeze, back down. There we go. Don't forget to breathe. All right. We got alternating reverse grip rows. So you might want to reduce your resistance a little bit. Palms are going to face out, elbows are going to stay in. We're going to go left, right, alternating, just like that. I'm just going to keep this weight. Here we go. So chest out, head up, keeping the back straight. You can see I'm not like this. I'm not doing this. We're here. There we go. Push it out. 
Let's get one more. I gotta hit even numbers there. Oh, we got sumo squat. So for sumo squat, we can use one or two dumbbells. We're gonna have our feet nice and wide on this one. Wipe a little sweat off. Feet nice and wide. And then you can hold your dumbbells in front right here or a single, that's fine. Dropping down, make sure as you push up, the knees stay out, they don't crumble in. We don't want that. Five seconds. Here we go, grab our dumbbells. So, dropping down, coming up. Every rep, try to drop a little deeper. Oh yeah, here we go. You can also try it without the weights. Yep. Have our hands try to touch. Keep the back straight, chest out. Here we go. All right, we got pike push-ups, wide push-ups, or decline chest press. So if you wanna keep trying to do push-ups and you can't do a pike, get those hands nice and wide. What are you gonna be doing? I'm gonna do a wide push-up. Okay, I'm gonna do decline. the decline then. Sorry, I so, pushed it up on it. Yeah, you did. <laughs> so decline, we're here. I'll have to demonstrate both because I thought you were doing the decline. Right here. That's the decline for so the pike. Butt's gonna be up in the air. Right here, coming down, back up. There we go. Oh, we're gonna be on the ground here. We got crunch holds coming up. So, feet are gonna be pulled in on this one. What we're gonna do is gonna, hands behind the head. Come up, hold for as long as you can, up to about 10, 15 seconds. Hold, squeeze, squeeze, and then as you need to, release. Only sit back here for one or two seconds. Try to pull back up. Get those shoulder blades off the ground. We're not here holding, we're up here holding. This makes it 10 times harder. Come on, back down, and up. I'm gonna try to hold the remainder of the time. Do what you can. Ah, there we go. 30 seconds, we're going into our final group here. We got bicep curls. We got all the fun stuff coming up now. So, bicep curls, palms are gonna be facing out away from us. Curl them up, come back down. Easy peasy. We're gonna try to keep our palms out away from us the entire time. So, coming up, back down. As you come up, try to get that pinky higher than the thumb. That's called supination. It's gonna give you that extra little squeeze on those biceps. Here we go. If you need to, you can always alternate left and right. Totally fine. Just try to keep going. Just like Jen said earlier, just don't stop. Do whatever you gotta do to keep going. There we go, we got overhead tricep extensions coming up. So for these, you can use one dumbbell. If you use one dumbbell, it's gonna go up and over like that. Jen's gonna do one for two. I like to sit mine on my shoulder at first. Elbows stay nice and high. Coming up and down. Up and down. There we go. Keeping our elbows up, we're not dropping the elbows. Let's go. Here we go. Push it out. Let's get one more. Ah. We got shoulder press coming up. So we're gonna be right here, palms facing out away from us, pushing up, coming back down. Last one. Here we go. So up and down, up and down. For shoulder press, you always want your elbows to be slightly in front of the shoulders. So as I'm pushing, notice how my elbows are here. They're not way back here like that. They're right here. They don't have to be super far in like this. They just have to be slightly ahead. If 
if you need to, you can always alternate. Left and right. Ah, whoo! We are finished. Good job. Way to go. Way to push through it. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, be sure smash that like button. We'll see you on the next one. See Bye. you guys.